Hey, Tommy Cat here. Just doing an update on my 1969 Pontiac Le Mans restoration. Okay, I got the fenders off in the front. The whole front clip is off. Radiator's still in. My next project is going to be to redo this wiring harness right here. Okay, the harness on the left is the engine harness. That's this right here. This one is for the front headlights and your turn signals. So this whole wiring harness is over 50 years old. 52 years old exactly because this is a 1969 model which means it was actually uh, manufactured in 1968 so these wires are all dried up and uh, I've been having some ignition problems and some starter problems I got the starter to work by uh, patching up this wire here but this wiring harness has plenty of surprises take a look at some of the uh, craziness going on right here the more I wrap it and look at the wires the worse it gets so this wiring harness is getting replaced okay I have the replacement right here this is the plug that goes in it's still wrapped up there's grease in there I'm not going to take that apart until I'm ready to put it in and then you have all these wires here so basically what you want to do when you're putting in a wiring harness is start from the beginning this is the plug this is what plugs into the firewall okay so this plugs in this wire here goes up to this relay in the center position This wire here goes to the brake distribution block, which tells you if you're low on brake fluid, it'll send a red light on your dashboard. Okay, these wires right here go to the windshield wiper motor. Also controls the washer pump. That's this harness here. After that, get this blue wire that goes to the AC and the blower motor. This pink wire is your ignition wire. When you turn the key on, you should have 12 volts to this wire. And then finally, at the end of the harness, you have your alternator plugs. Okay. This plug right here plugs into the alternator. These wires have to get bolted onto there. All this has to come apart. And again, I don't know what the guy was thinking when he patched this uh, harness together, but it's too old, too unreliable, so the whole thing's getting replaced. Okay, in order to take apart this wiring harness, there's a 3 8 bolt that's right here. Okay, I loosened it up. Okay, once that bolt is loose, that 3 8 right there, you have your wiring harness. Now, each one of those slots represents a wiring circuit. Okay, I've got the old harness out. What I did is I labeled the old wiring. This is the top for the relay by the brake booster. Bottom relay, that's the pattern of the wiring. Okay, I also took out the uh, windshield washer motor. I'm not going to need that for a while.
Okay, now that the engine harness and the front light harness are out, I'm going to plug in the engine harness. Okay, this, I'm not going to do the lights right now because when I pull the engine out of this car, I'm going to have to take off that uh, front radiator support anyway. And I don't need lights, but I do need it to run. So I'm going to plug this in right here. Okay, when the time comes to put it on the road, I'm going to order that front light harness. All new wires. These wires are very old. 1969 was a long time ago. And when you're restoring these old vehicles, the most important thing is you want it to be reliable. Okay, this one comes with a 3 8 bolt. Okay, before I tighten that bolt down, I'm going to start running the wires through the engine. Okay, these wires right here go to the starter motor, so I'm going to hook them up. Red wire goes to the alternator, purple wire goes into the harness. This pink wire that's the 12 volt ignition that's going to hook up to the positive coil okay the coils right here positive terminal on the right negative terminal on the left also connected to the coil we have this red wire that goes to the positive side of the coil into the distributor then we have this green wire which goes from the distributor to the negative side of the coil okay so these two wires also hook up to the coil okay these wires there's a plug right here two terminals this plug is for an internal regulator on the alternator also comes with this terminal which gets bolted onto that stud down there and the plug gets plugged in okay the alternator is hooked up this green wire right here goes to the temperature sensor in the intake manifold. Go ahead, go ahead and plug that in. That's the intake manifold temperature sensor. Goes into the main harness. Okay, in order to test for voltage, I have the red probe attached to that pink wire. black on the negative battery and we're looking good we have 12.27 volts okay plenty of voltage there the other thing I want to do is I want to test a couple of the grounds okay here's the engine block ground the other main ground is up here on the firewall I have a few wires going to it Okay, in order to test the ground, I'm going to switch the multimeter to continuity. Okay, it's going to make that be. Doesn't matter which end you use, black or red. Okay, so I'm at the engine ground. Okay, engine to the firewall ground is good. You can hear it beep. It's firewall to the battery. Okay, looking good, the grounds are good. Okay, I just started it up using the ignition switch. It's alive.